guys i hope you all are doing swell and welcome to another doing swell podcast episode as you guys can tell by the title today we're going to be talking about finding personal growth and learning about yourself so per usual i have my coffee i feel like i'm always using this mug but it's honestly one of my favorites but today we just have a black hazelnut coffee no cream or anything and then i also have my notes as usual if you're new here i usually have my notes because i tend to ramble if i do not and then I also have my phone just for clarity as well. So like I said today, we are gonna be talking about finding yourself and personal growth. And I think that finding yourself happens a lot within your early 20s because it's a time where you're exposed to the real world, you've just graduated college or you're in a trade or you're in your career already, but you have more of a sense of how to find yourself, find your likes and your dislikes. Sometimes you leave home and you find out who you are completely so today I want to talk about how I learned how to find myself as well as how you as well if you're struggling to find out who you are as a person using some of these tips to help you regain who you are and find your inner core so let's get started into the video so like I said everyone goes through this act of finding yourself and it's definitely very crucial within your early 20s because we are still learning and growing each day but even as you get older you still become more confident and more assured in who you are as a person so throughout time you tend to learn more and more about who you are each and every day so it's not necessarily within your 20s but 20s are a pivotal time for you to develop those skills figure out your personality and what you want to strive for within life so that's why I said 20s but um, different life experiences also teach you about who you are as a person and you can't rush those type of life experiences because that just happens over time when different trials and tribulations or different big and monumental and amazing things happen within your life that is a time that you learned how to adapt and you learn how to become more of yourself and I love sitting down and talking about these different topics because I feel like it's a great way especially when you guys enjoy it and engage in the comments down below we overall engage and learn how to navigate our early 20s and 30s together and it's also just a, a comforting way to feel figure out that we're not doing this alone because before making YouTube videos and all that stuff um, I did kind of feel like I was alone and experiencing things that I thought that only I was experiencing especially with like post-college graduate and those blues that come in waves sometime but I realized when I put videos up like that a lot of people are going through the same thing and that makes me feel more reassured and less stressed because I'm like Oh, this is something that everyone is going through. So that's why I like to sit down and talk about different things like that. So the first point that I want to make is that I learned how to become myself and find out who I was as a person when I spent time alone. Now I was very fortunate that I got to study abroad and do some school abroad as well as model and stay in different cities around the US. But being alone forced me to become adaptable. It forced me to figure out who I was as a person, my likes and my dislikes, who I want to surround myself with, how I want to carry myself as well as what I was striving for for and that just allowed for me to further explore who I was as a person like I said and I always kind of knew who I was as a person because I am the only child and with the only child I was big on family and my family always encouraged me to become my own person which I am very thankful for but I feel like when you are forced to spend some time alone you learn how to love yourself and love your own company and I am an honest believer that you can't put love into other people or other things if you don't have the love within yourself. So if you're trying to figure out like what you want to do in life or not even that that's something that serious just figuring out where you want to see yourself or what kind of qualities or traits that you want to see that you might have or talents take some time to spend some time alone. However in some cases I do feel like especially 
especially when you're younger, you become influenced by those who are around you. Um, like I said right here, I said you begin to pick up on their traits and their actions, whether it be negative or positive. This is why I always encourage people to spend some time alone because with that, you figure out who you are. Um, you also figure out what you want to strive for in life and then you surround yourself with like-minded individuals. And so I feel like even with yourself and with other people, people you're friends with, always have this type of reevaluation system. It doesn't have to be as mean as it probably sounds, but you need to be aware of the people you are around and how you are influencing the people that are around you. So think about this. Are the people or are you a good influence? Have a positive mindset about life? Have goals that they're trying to strive for? Are they working actively each day to become a better person? Or are they spewing negativity and hate and always gossiping and don't have anything positive that they're doing within your life? Always try to observe. That's the main thing I've learned with being an only child. I have the type of personality that I am quiet when you first meet me. I like to think that I'm quiet when you first meet me. Unless I'm around people who are my friends and I feel comfortable meeting new people, I tend to talk a little, not a lot. But I'm the type of person who observes. I pick up on different actions and traits and seeing what a person is about. And then that's when I make the judgment on whether or not I feel like we would be a good fit as a friend or if I want to pursue a friendship or anything like that. So with that being said, take some time to observe and reevaluate if you're a good person for other people or the people around you a good influence for you. Okay, so also I said, when you have this time alone, you figure and become more aware of your happiness. Note, never allow for a person to be the center of your happiness. Your happiness has to come from you and you alone, in addition and in combination of your faith if that is something that you actively practice. You have to be selfish and prioritize your own happiness. And that is something that my mom has always taught me as well as like my older friends and family members you can't truly be happy and in love with life if you don't prioritize the love and happiness with yourself and in your 20s it is a time for you to be selfish and figure out what you want to do and do what you love and that's perfectly fine being selfish and figuring out and giving yourself all that love and care and you know just prioritizing yourself first and your happiness so each day you should be doing something that makes you proud of yourself and seeing yourself in that light that you want to be seen figure out what is important and be selfish with that and it's legit never too late to become the person that you strive to be. We evolve and change each and every day. And each and every day should be a stepping stone to who you want to see yourself as. You can do a little bit each day of maturing those skills and your personality and those characteristics that will make you beneficial for the world around you. So like I said, it's never too late to become the person who you want to be or have certain tools and skills that make you a better person. You can learn certain qualities and make those things a part of your character. And for me, I want to be strong in all areas of my life. I want to be strong mentally, I want to be strong physically, and I want to be strong within my faith and have a strong mindset. So whatever happens to be on my path, I don't quiver, I stand tall, and then I just face it head on. And like I said, traveling can be an awesome way for you to learn about yourself. It allows for you to adapt, mature, learn valuable life skills, open your horizons, and it teaches you about your strengths and your weaknesses. And all in all, it teaches you how to better love yourself. If you can or can't travel, still spend some time alone. Write stuff out in a journal. Journaling is so beneficial. I've talked about it quite a few times within a lot of my videos, but it's just an awesome some way to get those feelings and those emotions and whatever is on your mind on pen and paper and just letting go and letting go of that anxiety and that stress but also spending time alone can help you figure out who you are get your thoughts out properly be aware of your surroundings and the energies around you I still don't know 100% about who I am, but I think that you will fully understand who you are with life. And like I said a little bit earlier, with life, you learn 
how to navigate it properly through wisdom and different things that are on your path. It just comes with time with learning more about yourself. You're not going to know 100% who you are in your early 20s or even in your early 30s because you're still so, so young and you haven't been through those things that forces you to adapt and learn and mature and all that different stuff. Even though you don't know 100% of who you are, in the meantime, get a grasp on who you are in your core and at least be working on who you are as a person each and every day. And that's something awesome that you can do in your alone time as well. And like I said right here, that you are constantly growing and evolving and you can't put too much pressure on yourself and how you are compared to what you thought you would be 10 years ago. You have to grow with life. You're never too old to want new things. And don't put a timeline on your life. I feel like that just is so negative in the grand scheme of things it's nice to have a guide on how you want your life to be but it doesn't have to be concrete so saying like you want to accomplish something by 22 or 25 or 30 or blah 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 don't set out like an age on what you have to do and I hear so many people that are my age that talk about the same thing how you have like these society standards of what you have to accomplish by a certain age and when you get to that age you don't accomplish it you just feel like a failure so rather than using age and saying like oh in five years I want to do this or with 10 years I want to do that why not just have a plan for your life but use it as a guide not something that is set in concrete be adaptable and ready for change and as I get older I am only in my early 20s but as I I get older I have learned to not be ashamed or embarrassed of what I like and the person that I am and I wasn't actually brave enough to be a hundred percent myself until I came back from study it abroad I know I talk about it all the time but that was such a monumental and pivotal moment within my life where I actually learned about who I was as a person and I embraced completely who I was as a person and I just felt like I was suppressing myself and trying to fit in or being quiet and not outspoken like I wanted to be and when I studied abroad I learned how to better articulate myself and I realized who the type of people I wanted to surround myself with and the type of person that I want to be a better friend or a better companion or a better daughter there's different things in life that you learn how to be a good person. So anyway, I'm getting off a little bit off track, but I figured out a few years ago, I was just suppressing of who God created me to be. And I learned how to speak up and voice my opinions and how valuable my thoughts are and how valuable your thoughts are as well. Always be open to new things because you don't know what your new interests are or who you are as a person if you're not open to change and learning new stuff or being in new situations. Practice always being you. So before we end the podcast episode, I thought that I would just pose this question that I want for you to ask yourself today. Who am I versus who I am trying to be? So that concludes this episode of the Doing Swell podcast. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up. Subscribe below if you haven't already, as well as share with someone who was trying to figure out how to navigate their 20s, as well as just trying to find out who they are as a person. But until the next podcast episode, I will see you guys in one of my other weekly videos. Bye, you guys.